Yo, what's up everybody? Bun here from Bun Plus Ultra. Today we're just going to be taking a look at the rest of the story for Honkai Quest. I think today is the last day of the anniversary, so let's just go ahead, check out a couple things, and then we'll jump right in. As far as Valkyries go, we got Valkyrie to rank up here. And then I know I have this. I'm now able to activate this, so I figure why not. We got her to unlock. Boom. Starlit Astrologos. Am I saying that right? Doubt it, but. Yep, got her unlocked now, so that's not bad. We could also uh, activate her skill, I guess, too. So, yes, our collection is coming along nicely. What else do I have to show you guys? Let's see. Okay, we got Sleeping Beauty for Rosa, so looking good there. I'm pretty sure that's the best weapon for her. You guys can let me know. We did get this skin from the Battle Pass. I think it looks fresh. I want to ask you guys about the Battle Pass real quick. So where is the, the Elite Works here? All right, so what should I spend these on? I have Sleeping Beauty. Should I get this one? I imagine this is for Himiko, so I probably don't need it. I could get any of these or over here in the, oh, the BP store. I did get this. I wasn't sure what else to get here. Probably, probably that, but, and then I, I saw over here, I can get these and I could buy eight of those and then save up for the oath of Judah here. So you guys let me know what exactly I should do here. I know I'll have to be a little bit patient here, but it seems like I could get pretty much whatever. I'm still working on this one. I'm not really sure how this goes, but I guess eventually I'm going to unlock Fallen Rosemary from this. So that's cool. Late that night near the entrance to Elder Ruins. Here must be the Elder Ruins in the book. Yeah, that's right. Any adventurer who wishes to enter the Dark Castle must pass the Grand Sage's test here. Shut up, idiot Jin. Huh, I wasn't talking to you. Seal asked me a question and I was obliged to instruct her. Shut up up don't make me repeat yo so i can't wait to get delta's augment outfit right there that is pretty fresh and i definitely want to get that god kiana outfit that is sick the summer one it even changes like the hair and everything it's pretty dope so hopefully that one comes around next summer and i have hov by then delta gave the water Jin a vicious look and silenced her immediately miss delta please don't be mean to miss water Jin. it was my bad i shouldn't be quiet now as well seal I'm sorry, guys. I know I know that I'm saying seal wrong. I know it's like Seely or Seele. Seele. The silent runes became even more eerie now that only their anxious breaths could be heard. Delta observed their surroundings with a clear head, but she could see nothing except endless broken walls. It's too quiet here. Unnaturally quiet. Seele? What's wrong with her? Does she always act like this weird? Oh, does she always act this weird? Don't talk, Miss Water Jin. Miss Delta might... Hey, idiot Jin. What? what? I wasn't bad-mouthing you, not even a word. Can you feel the existence of water in here? Oh, are you thirsty? I have a few bottled spring water in my backpack. No, Seely. No, Seely. I meant flowing water. Idiot Jin, is there flowing water in these ruins? Delta, didn't anyone tell you to ask nicely when you need a favor? I don't really appreciate your manners. You... The Water Jin stopped all of a sudden. She seemed to have realized something, and her face turned grave. No, I can't feel any water... No, I can't feel any running water here. Huh? Nani? No running water. Is that a serious problem? Running water means life, but everything here is still and dead. But isn't the Grand Sage supposed to be here? The Adventurers Guild says the Grand Sage has been here for ages, waiting for worthy adventurers to defeat evil. But the book doesn't mention whether the Grand Sage is alive or not, right? You, you mean the Grand Sage might be dead? Or there wasn't any Grand Sage to begin with. Ooh. If so, how did Branya and the adventurers before her get to the Dark Castle? Yeah, how did they do it, Water Jin? Why ask me? I've never been to the Dark Castle. How should I know? Huh. Delta, I think you're being paranoid. And? Maybe this is part of the Grand Sage's trial. Maybe she concealed all signs of life and she is watching how we would respond somewhere. Is it so? It's, it's just a guess. Keep talking. Maybe the Grand Sage is behind some stone tablet. We should press on and look around. No, we're resting here tonight. We'll resume tomorrow at first light. Huh? Unknown dangers might be lurking in the darkness. Besides, Delta walked up to Sile and patted her on her shoulder. Wake up, Sile. Miss Delta? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have. 
Over here. Oh, okay. Follow Delta to a broken wall a few steps away. It's a few hours before dawn. Drop your backpack and sleep here. You didn't get any shut eye for two days straight. Dang. Rest and we'll continue at dawn. Oh, yo, Delta cares. Huh? There's a small patch of grass here. It beats the hard ground of rocks. You seem aloof, but you actually care about me. Ooh. Whatever. Then I should probably have a rest too. The ground over there looks flat. I'm gonna go sleep there. Let me see if I can make a water bed with my aqua power. Don't go too far. Water's in sauntered away yawning. Yo, what a cool idea to make a water bed. That's dope. Use your cloak as a blanket. Then scooched over to make some room. Miss Delta, would you like to lie down? This grass patch should be enough for the both of us. Nah, I'll go over there. Point to a pile of broken steles? I don't know that word, actually, to be honest with you guys. Those are rocks. Like stalactites? Stelis? You won't be able to have a good sleep on them. It's the best spot for night watch. I have a water view that I have a wider view there. And I can help the both of you in case of an emergency. Night watch? Aren't you going to sleep? You don't look tired at all, though. I'm used to staying up late. Plus, when spending the night in the wild, you have to have someone to keep watch. It's basic knowledge for adventures. Oh, right. Now I remember I read it in the adventures guide. Well, can I watch the night tomorrow? Nah, that's... It's that idiot Jin's turn tomorrow. <laughs> Water Jin's loud snork came with a cool night breeze. Can't believe she already fell asleep. Meh. Grabbed her weapon and walked towards that pile of Stellas. Thank you, Miss Delta. For what? I think this is the Ventures of the Brave. Wait, I think this is the Adventures of the Brave, as I have always imagined. Strong determination, reliable companions, excitement about the unknown future. Don't thank me. It's you who made the move. I did nothing. If you have someone to thank, thank your own courage then. No response was heard. Delta turned around only to find that Sile had already fallen asleep. Delta let out a sigh. She then walked to the pile of Stellas, sat down, and quietly looked up to the clear starry sky. She could feel her fatigue. She was trying to elude sleep, or more precisely, its derivative, dreams. Delta hadn't had any dreams for a long time. Dreaming is a sign of deep slumber, while well, Delta could wake up at any second. Close her eyes, clear her mind, open her eyes five minutes later, this had been her way of sleeping. However, this time, she suddenly heard something the moment she closed her eyes. It was piercing, howling wind. Uh-oh. Find herself lying in the thick snow. She tried to stand up, but the snow trapped her like quicksand. The harder she tried, the deeper she sank. Her body temperature kept dropping. She gradually lost consciousness. In a daze, she heard someone calling her name. Not her code name Delta, but her real name. The one that she had lost a long time ago. She recalled that night of raging snowstorms where this endless nightmare began. Actually, she wished it was just a long nightmare. Because no matter how terrible nightmares appeared, they would always dissipate when she woke up in the morning. And her loved ones would be by her side and gently wiped her tears. But how could she ever wake up in reality? Delta pinched herself as hard as she could. Oh dang, she slept all night. The glaring sunlight hurt Delta's eyes. She had a headache. She rubbed her forehead in bewilderment. What happened? I fell asleep. But why? Sila? Idiot Jin? No one answered. There was nobody in view. Only Sile's little backpack was lying on that grass patch. I shouldn't have let my guard down. You have something to do with that weird dream I just had, don't you? Delta looked up at a small figure perching on top of a stone wall in front of her. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I'm not in a good mood right now. You better not beat around the bush and waste my time. Delta's kind of a badass. Waste your time. There must be some misunderstanding, adventure. You're talking to the legendary Grand Sage, the master of the ruins, and the ranger of your trials. This is the Grand Sage? Oh my goodness. Yo, guys, we're close to unlocking elves. I'm pretty excited for that, actually. You're talking to the legendary Grand Sage, the master of the ruins, and... The arranger of your trials. The Grand Sage, you? I assumed you to be much bigger than this. Seeming a bit annoyed at Delta's taunt, the Sage flew to a taller Stella and stood atop of it. <laughs> Looking down at Delta, the Grand in Grand Sage does not refer to the size of stature. Rather, it's about the massiveness of my wisdom, insight, grace, and cut the crap. Just tell me how to get to the Dark Castle. Though Delta hadn't made any move, her tail already raised her greatsword and pointed it at the small figure. Yo, what a useful tail. Alas, young adventurers, always lack patience. The Grand Sage didn't seem daunted by Delta's threat. She let out a sigh and nudged the tip of the sword aside. Before you start to explore the ruins, don't you want to know where your missing companions are? 
at the moment, they might be suffering or facing terrifying enemies somewhere in the ruins. So what? They- What? What'd you say? What does their suffering have to do with me? Are you saying that you won't tell me how to get to the Dark Castle unless I save them? Of course not. I'm just shocked to see an adventurer banning their companions without hesitation. I'm not an adventurer, and they're not my companions. Um, alright. Well then, adventurer, it's time to follow my guidance and finish your trials in the ruins. The Grand Sage took out a roll of parchment from her sleeve and cleared her throat. Master Adventurer, welcome to this time honored el Welcome to this time honored Elder Ruins. You and your pals will first experience the amazing magic of displacement. If you are separated from one another under the magic, please do not panic, as it will be the ruins test of you. Your friendship and lofty ambitions will bind your hearts together and lead you through the trials to the secret. Delta abruptly slashed the stella in which the Grand Sage was standing in half. Get to the point. I don't have time for beginner's tutorial. Be patient, adventure. Listening to the Grand Sage's instructions is part of your trial. Oh my. Can I skip to this part and hear my quest already? For real. No, you cannot. That's how the system works. Fine. How about we try something simpler and more efficient? I ask questions, and you answer them with a simple yes or no. You think you can do this? Grand Sage glanced at the slit Stella at the pink greatsword in front of her and nodded with a shiver. <laughs> Question number one. Sile and that idiot Jin are both alive and haven't left the ruins, yes or no? If you're referring to the other two adventures, then yes. Question number two. There are other Grand Sages in the ruins, yes or no? How'd you know? I just took a guess. According to you, all adventures will be tested separately at different locations in the ruins, which means as I've met you, Sile and idiot Jin would meet their own Grand Sages who give them instructions. Damn, Delta's next level, what is this? Of course, it's also possible that you test this at different times, but your reaction just now validated my first guess. Well then, question number three. What should I do to leave this place and get to the floating isles in the dark castle? Uh, Miss Avenger, could you please sh show some respect for the ruins and me? Who would ask for walkthroughs about the final boss stage at the newbie tutorial? Players who are only interested in the results like me. What a badass. Fine, if you're in such a hurry, here's the most difficult puzzle in the ruins. I'm listening. Imagine that this complicated array of puzzles of the ruins is something like a board game being played by the gods, and the adventurers are observers of the game. Even if they knew every rule, however, they might not be able to understand why a particular card is played in the game, but when they know the rules, they consider that they can solve all the puzzles of the ruins. This is one of the oldest puzzles of the ruins. No adventurers ever solved it. You don't understand a word of it, do you? You were like... I know this reference. It's from the Feynman Lectures on Physics. Wh what? The original text should be, we can imagine that this complicated array of moving things which constitutes the world is something like a great chess game being played by the gods and we are observers of the game. Even if we knew every rule, however, we might not be able to understand why a particular move is made in the game. If we know the rules, we consider that we understand the world. That's all I could remember. The book was so boring. I only read a few pages before I gave it away and then stored that knowledge away forever, apparently. Who would have thought your puzzle comes exactly from the few pages I read? All right, so what's the question of, this isn't right, why would you know the content of the scriptures left by the Grand Sage? Left by the Grand Sage? Or I mean, no, I didn't say anything, you heard nothing. Alas, Jing Wei, you're such an embarrassment. Jing Wei, you've almost, you've wasted so much time and still failed to take her out, and you almost revealed our secret, shame on you. What, Jing Wei? I, I'm the Grand Sage of the Ruins. You've only been disgracing the Grand Sage, you little coward. Oh, dang. I saw an indigo figure about the same size as the Grand Sage. She was standing on a higher Stella, looking down at the two. So you were another Grand Sage, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's right. I am the true master of the Ruins, the herald of the freezing netherworld. I am the dark angel of eternal sleep, the Grand Sage X. Are you trying to be funny? Grand Sage X looked very embarrassed. She still managed to maintain her pose for her debut. Oh, that's her persona. You know, some adventurers like this type. Why are you here, Grand Sage X? I wouldn't stop for fatuous adventurers who couldn't even pass the first trial. You're saying they both failed? Correct. Now it's your turn, Dar- I'm... Before Grand Sage X could finish talking, the Grand Sage hurried, flew over, and muffled her. She was just saying, darling adventure, it's time to start your trials, right? She she was just saying, darling adventurer, it's time to start your trials, right, Grand Sage X? Yo, do you guys think they were gonna say Dark Lord? 
That's exactly what I was trying to say. What are you doing? You almost spilled the beans. You guys ever played Final Fantasy IX? These remind me of Zorn and Thorn from Final Fantasy IX. I mean, not 100%, but you know what I mean? The colors and the music is kind of goofy. You don't know what we're dealing with. See those thick stone stellas? She just cut them like butter. I was worried about you, and I don't want to play the game with them anymore. I never win. All right, all right. I'll think of some excuses to trick her. You play along and follow my lead. You know, there's no team channel for you two, and I can hear you, right? Anyway, time is running out. Get ready for your trials adventure. Okay, I'd like to see how you're going to trick me. Please follow me to this ancient triangular Stella array adventure. Please stand on the circular floor surrounded by three Stellas to activate the device. That's it? You call this a trial? This is just the beginning. The trials are designed to be an evolutionary process of increasing difficulty. Don't waste too much time in the beginning. Just stand there so that we can give you further instructions. Cast a suspicious glance at them and then casually walk to the spot as they instructed. The next moment, the three Stellas began to emit green light, forming a cage with a click which trapped Delta inside. Huh, so this is the real trial for adventures. Save it, you crafty Dark Lord. Dark Lord? Who'd have thought the Dark Lord has secretly evolved this far? You, you even have a human form now, and you use it to trick those adventures. Thank goodness we saw through your ruse before it's too late and transferred the two adventures to a safe place. What is your evil plan? To murder the adventures? To steal the secret of the ruins? Or... Delta suddenly thrusts her greatsword into the ground. You call yourselves Grand Sages? More like grand morons. I couldn't be less interested in the adventures or the stupid secrets of your stupid ruins. I told you, I just want to know the way to the dark castle. Delta then stamped her foot on the ground a few times. That click came from underground, right? And it doesn't sound solid when I hit the ground with my sword or foot. There's space down there, am I right? These Stella's broken walls are all just camouflage. The real ruins are underground. Don't bother to think of an answer, Grand Sages. The looks on your face has already gave an answer to me. As for how to get down there, I won't need your help on that either. Delta tightly grasps the hilt. Countless cracks begin to sprawl in the ground from the landing point of the blade. Wake up, sleeping beauty. Ooh, shatter this place for me. Yo, okay. Pretty hype. Meanwhile, somewhere under the ruins, yo, this looks like Star Wars. Choose race, elf or half-elf? Choose class, mage or warrior? Are you sure you want to be a half-elf warrior, Miss Valeray? Uh, yes, this one looks strong. Can I be her? Course, race and class confirmed. Initiating character attributes, abilities, features, and equipment. In a badly lit chamber, four figures were sitting around a stone table. I've made my choice. Here you are, Miss Alice. The girl called Alice adeptly took the cards handed by Seal. Who is that? Is this just a generic character made for this, or is that an actual Valk? Who is that? Maybe they use, like, a Wendy model? I can't tell who that would be. Alice will host. The story of the adventurers and the Dark Dragon begins. The Dark Dragon is evil. It destroyed and looted the world. Adventurers, you have trekked so far and finally reached the Dark Dragon's lair. You decide to take a rest tonight to refresh and fight the Dark Dragon tomorrow. That's it? We're about to fight the final boss already? The next day, you wake up in a strange room. What do you do, adventurers? Same thing I did when I woke up here this morning. Scream. Um, I think I'll pass out. What about you, Grand Sage Y? I light a torch. Is that a H O T elf? Oh boy, I really want that. But it's got white hair, so is it really an H O T elf? The room is lit by Grand Sage Y's torch. You see many treasure chests. Please wait. Alice needs to roll the dice to decide your results. Sile passed out but was woken up by Water Jin's scream. What do you do next, Miss Jin? A room full of treasure chests? Can I go check those chests? I opened the biggest one. Water Jin opened a treasure chest and is blinded by glittering treasure. Water Jin loses her sight for one round. Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> you Okay, Ayo, leave me a comment down below if you guys have played Dungeons and Dragons before or a game like Dungeons and Dragons. I used to play like a Star Wars Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that. Leave me a comment if you used to play this game. This is pretty funny. Wait a sec, Alice. This game doesn't feel right. The timing of dice rolling is already weird, and why would someone be blinded when opening a treasure chest? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't? Alice tilted her head to look at the water gin with a hint of confusion in her emotionless voice. Database shows the same thing had happened to adventures before. The game will simulate all possible threats. Alice's game is designed to test and toughen adventures. Try your best to avoid danger and prove yourselves. But all we've experienced so far are bad things. Falling into a trap, losing baggage, food poisoning, getting hurt. Alice has fun, happy stories. You're out of luck and miss them all. 
frogs rained down at the princess's wedding in the distant kingdom. A lost traveler strayed into the territory of a race of tiny people. The country in the far north has no nights or seasons. All of these stories are too bizarre to make sense to me, and I'm a jinn. Can you just play along like this, Grand Sage? The girl who was referred to as Grand Sage seemed reticent. She fixed her eyes on the cards without looking up. Great, another cold fish. She talks less than the one with two horns on her head. Who'd have thought the legendary Grand Sage just hides under the ruins and plays games all day with a little girl? It's called the Board RPG for Adventures. The Grand Sage created it to help adventurers improve their capabilities. With all due respect, I don't think anyone who could pass Forest Jin's trial would need this. Especially that monster Delta. Miss Delta would be mad at you if she knew you said that. I know, that's why I set it behind her back. <laughs> okay. Anyway, where is she? she? Why hasn't she joined us? Grand Sage told me she's up there being tested, but why does she need the extra test? She's way stronger than us. Grand Sage Wise said, Alice, they don't need to know. Continue the game. But the adventurers asked the question. Alice is supposed to answer their questions. Have better judgment, Alice. Some questions will only bring problems if answered. There was a loud thump as something crashed into the iron door of the chamber. Huh, who's there? It's me. Jing, Grand Sage, why'd you hit the door so hard? Just get in. No response, but some muffled muttering came from the other side of the door. Oh shit, what's wrong, Jingwei? Don't panic, I'm coming. No, don't open the door. Bring Alice and the adventurers and just run. The Dark Lord... Ah! With another thud, a large bulge stuck out from the thick iron door. Then came a deluge of thumps, which finally ceased when the door broke away from the frame and smashed into the wall on the other side. Everyone's jaw dropped. Delta lowered her leg at the door. Knee strikes, hook kicks, side kicks, tail sweeps. I haven't practiced my fighting moves for ages. Kind of rusty. Yo, this is about to get real. I don't know exactly know what's going to happen. Delta's tail flicked and tossed two Grand Sages who had been bound by her tail. Delta's tail flicked and tossed two Grand Sages who had been bound by her tail among the four girls in the chamber. Ow, with my head spinning so many Alice. Is this what infernal regions look like? There's only chaos in sight. Hey, are you two all right? Wake up. Miss Delta. Oh, you are here. Sile and Idiot Jin. I see you two have been taken good care of. Uh, I think so. We were just playing a board game with Miss Alice. Sile, I think she means kidnapping. What? Kidnapping? No, no, no. Miss Jin and I are fine. Miss Alice and the Grand Sage have been very nice to us. Grand Sage told us that you were still being tested. There must be some misunderstanding. Being tested? For what? To see if I'm qualified Dark Lord? Huh? I see you have given up lying, Dark Lord. Dark Lord, adventurer, human, whatever you want to call me, I'm not here for you. It's you whom I'm looking for. Delta raised her greatsword and pointed at Alice, who would remain silent. I played a few games with those two little critters for a while, and they told me everything. The two of them and the one with striped stockings? None of them is the real Grand Sage. They're just support elves. Huh? Then where's the real Grand Sage? Could it be? The real Grand Sage is you. Am I right, little girl? It's Alice? Some questions will only bring problems, if answered. Alice must have better judgment. Grand Sage Y told Alice this. Alice refuses to answer your question. Suddenly, Alice's body emitted the glaring white light. When everyone else could open their eyes again... The ruin? Why are we back here? This is the magic of displacement that the Grand Sage left to Alice. And Alice used the magic of Ruin's barrier as well? Grand Sage X was pointing at the vacant lot not very far from them. Alice and Delta were standing in the middle of the lot, while the others were kept out by a light wall. Oh shit. Seriously, I'm not interested in beating up a kid. But if that's the only way to get the answer from you, then you left me no choice. Those who hurt Alice's friends are bad people. Alright, here we go. Kind of bad with Delta. Are you done? You could get hurt. Quit messing around, silly. Alice is not messing around. Alice has been collecting data, observing, analyzing you. Huh? Data collection complete. Alice can answer your question now. Alice is not the real Grand Sage. The real Grand Sage is gone for ages. The Grand Sage made Alice and support Elsa to continue the research and protect the ruins. So that's the reason why you had to fight me. Delta looked back and glanced at the three Grand Sages. Wrong. Alice fought you in order to collect data and identify you. 
result of analysis, Delta is similar but not identical to the Dark Lord. Delta does not belong to this world just like the Dark Lord, but Delta is not the Dark Lord. Miss Delta doesn't belong to this world? Yeah, why are you surprised? Didn't I tell you? No, how could you not tell us something this important? But even if she told us, we wouldn't believe her. Alice apologizes. Elves misjudge Delta. Elves should apologize too. Sorry, we shouldn't have been so hot-headed. Three elves stood in a row behind Delta, their little heads lolling. When the three of you entered the ruins, you were all tested by the magic of discernment left by the Grand Sage. And the results show the composition of Delta is highly similar to the Dark Lord. Alice suggested transferring the other two adventurers to the inside of the ruins to protect them while observing you. But the three of us couldn't afford the possibility of the Dark Lord destroying Alice in the ruins. So we discussed and decided to take you out with the ruins defense device. Or weaken you a little at least. You mean that stupid trap with green lights? Gee, how weak do you think I am? Our trap's fine, it's just that you're so unreasonably strong. I didn't say anything. The elves had no ill intent, they just wanted to protect the ruins. To be more precise, they wanted to protect something in the ruins, am I right? And so did you. You teleported us to the ground because you didn't want something underground to be smashed during our fight. It's Alice that they tried to protect, huh? Let me explain this to you, adventurers. Long, long ago when the Grand Sage was still here, this place hadn't been reduced to rubble. It used to be the Grand Sage's laboratory, and the three of us were her assistants created by her. When the Dark Lord ascended, it brought infinite monsters and destruction, as well as countless magic devices and books from another world. Another world? Another bubble universe, maybe? I knew it. The Grand Sage had been studying those devices and books in the hope of finding out ways to defeat the Dark Lord. I see, including the Feynman lectures on physics, right? The book where the puzzle I was given came from? I've never heard of it before, but the Grand Sage did compile all useful information in the books into our scripture. Those adventures in the past brought us a lot of time, but we failed to find a way to defeat the Dark Lord anyway. There were a few methods that might work, but the odds were heavily against us, and they were very dangerous. Those methods were sealed by the Grand Sage in the ruins and touched by no one ever since. At the end of life, the Grand Sage utilized all her knowledge to build an unparalleled massive magic barrier. The barrier isolated the part of the world where the Dark Lord had already destroyed. The barrier isolated the part of the world where the Dark Lord had already destroyed, in essence, the floating isles from the rest of the world where humanity could be safe from monsters. So humanity's been living in a sheltered garden ever since, and the tales about the Dark Lord are gradually forgotten. While Alice is Alice is the core of the barrier. What? The Grand Sage made a pact with the Jinns. The Jin select qualified adventurers and send them to the ruins to be trained to fight the Dark Lord. Alice blocks monsters from the floating isles. The Jin will help too when things get out of hand. This is how the pact works, as always. So, this place is actually a training base for adventurers? Correct. Alice and the Elves designed games and made devices to train adventurers. The floating isles are the closest to the Dark Castle and thus the most dangerous. Alice would only send adventurers there after the training. Did my big sister disappear on the floating isles? Her name is Branya. She's about the same height as me and normally wears her silver hair and ponytails like this. Seal took out her pen and notepad trying to draw a sketch of Branya to show Alice. Alice has met Branya. She is good at playing games. Alice likes her. But Alice cannot answer your question. What? Under normal circumstances, the ruins barrier only allows one-way passage from the ruins to the floating isles. The barrier would collapse only after the energy of the Dark Lord dissipates, which means Branya might still be on floating isles? Oh, and other adventures too. Wait, this isn't right. There are fewer monsters now, so if the Dark Lord's already been defeated by Branya, why is the barrier still on? Sorry, Alice does not know the answer. But let it go, Sile. You won't get the answer here no matter what, and even if you do, you won't believe it anyway. Just push on and find the truth yourself. It's the meaning of your whole adventure. Hey, you're mean, Delta. Shut up. You, you're unbelievable. Alice, give this brat more tests, the hardest tests you have. Make her suffer so she'll learn to be nicer to people. Alice refuses. The trial is over. Alice considers your team strong enough to pass the trial and go to the floating isles. Delta's power is unprecedented according to Alice's database. Stronger than Branya? Correct. Well, that's because you've only seen a few people and are therefore easy to impress. And Sile's strong determination to find her sister gives her great strength to fight her enemy. Yes, I must find Branya and take her home. What about me? I'm as strong as them, right? Water Jin resembles the Grand Sage. They both have beautiful silver hair and lovely blue eyes. Everyone was shocked at Alice's response. What? Grand Sage was petite and had the, sa and the same height as Alice. She always wore a trencher cap and a pair of round spectacles. This would make me look less cute and much wiser, she once said so. 
but her favorite clothes was actually a cute blue and white dress. She looked like the Alice in Wonderland in that dress. And Water Gin's dress has the same colors. Um, I don't know what to say. Thanks, perhaps? So that's why you were named Alice by the Grand Sage. Wrong. Alice picked her own name. Alice was once called Omega, a code name given by the Grand Sage, which means last piece of work. Okay, this music, though? Awesome. But Alice did not like it. Alice wanted a real name rather than a code name to remember the Grand Sage. So Alice is curious. Delta is not a real name, but a code name. Humanity does not like code name. But you only have a code name. Why do you have no real name? Everyone turned to look at Delta. She remained silent for a while. I once had a name, but not anymore. Like you said, names are for remembering some people or something. I have nothing worth remembering. A code name for others to refer to me is enough. And I don't care if it's Delta or what. Alice does not understand. You'll understand when you grow up. Alice has lived far longer than you. Damn. Let it go, Alice. That cold fish won't tell you if she doesn't want to. It's not like it's some important info anyway. She'll probably throw a huge tantrum and smash your ruins if you push her too hard. Huh? You are not as stupid as you look. That's true. Alright, Alice still does not understand, but Alice will inquire no more. The passage to the floating isles will open in 300 seconds. Please get ready, adventurers. Miss Alice, would you like to go with us? You deserve your own adventure rather than just recording others. Sorry, Alice cannot leave. The Alice in front of you is not the real Alice. Alice's physical form is a massive, immovable device at the bottom of the ruins, and my human form only exists on this side of the barrier. How could this be? It's the order given by the Grand Sage. Alice must comply. Alice must stay. But Alice feels happy to have met you all, adventurers. But if the Dark Lord no longer exists, the barrier will also disappear, and you'll be able to leave here then, right? Correct. No Dark Lord. No need to maintain the barrier. In that situation, Alice can leave. Then, Miss Alice, can we invite you to go on new adventures after we defeat the Dark Lord? But if there's no Dark Lord, there won't be any adventures to take. Well, we can still go on a trip together. Alice has recorded Sile's invite. Alice will wait for Seal to come back and go on trips together. Sile held Alice's hands and wouldn't let go. Damn, that's really sad because for some reason, it definitely feels to me like... Alice is just going to disappear once they beat the Dark Lord, but... Alright, Sile, time to go. The passage is already opened. Take your tears back. They are not needed here. Dang. You two idiots, Jin. Hurry up. Delta grabbed Water Jin and forcibly dragged her towards the passage. Access granted. Please go on, adventurers. Sile finally let go of Alice's hand and slowly walked to the entrance to the passage. She looked back at Alice, unwilling to take another step. Hey, Delta, should we go help her get through this? Nope. That's her problem. She gotta deal with it alone. You have a heart of stone. Are you a Jin too? The stone Jin? <laughs> okay, no, that was funny, Delta. You're wrong. Then what do you expect me to say? Oh, us Jins do have some juicy stories to tell. Alright, tell me the story about the pact then. Which Jin made the pact with the Grand Sage? There was an awkward silence. Whatever. I'm not that interested anyway. Suddenly, they heard quick footsteps approaching. Delta looked back and saw Sile, her head lolling. Done saying goodbye to them? Yeah. Then let's go. The three girls marched towards the floating aisles in total silence. Soon they reached the end of the passage and walked out into the dazzling sunlight. The next moment... Greetings, adventurers from faraway lands. Welcome to the Floating Isles. 